Hello, this is Professor Kyle Stedman, and I want to introduce you to the way that we're going to use Moodle in class. I know some of you may have used a site like this before and some of you haven't, but I want to give you the basic overview so you know mostly what to look for. Now what you'll see here at the top is an introductory area. This is where you'll find the syllabus, a link, another version of the syllabus which we'll use in an assignment early on, and a link to any announcements I make. Now a lot of times I'll um, tell you things in these announcements. A lot of times I'll tell you by sending you emails, but I'll always make sure you know what's coming up. Don't worry about that. Um, underneath this main section here, you're going to see a week by week outline, which you'll be able to see by the dates of the week here. See, there's that little gray dates, and then down here, the next week starts with these gray dates, and there's a little gray box. So we know that here's week one, here's week two, and so on. As you go down, you'll see that there isn't information in all of these weeks yet well that's on purpose that's because um, I don't want people to be working ahead too much I want us all to work at the same time so if you're ever wondering what in the world is due what in the world do I have to have ready for class this is always 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 the place to go the main screen in Moodle now you might notice in the syllabus there's a very basic calendar. You're going to read the syllabus right look there's like all these pages of course you're going to read it it's important stuff so down here at the end you can look ahead and see, okay, I know that I'm going to have my first major project due on the fifth week, the week that starts September 17th. I know I'm going to have all this other stuff due on these basic days. Great, but this doesn't give you the details. For the details, you always, always, always come here. For every single day, I'll tell you what we're doing in class and what's due. I'll update this on Wednesdays in the evening. So by a single Wednesday, you'll always know what you'll have due for every day every day of the following week. If you're ever like, hey, I have something really coming up, I need to know earlier than that, let me know and maybe I'll let you know and maybe I won't. But let's look at how this is structured. There's always the text areas that I fill out here, like I typed this in myself, and then at the end of every week is always where a number of other resources show up. So sometimes something we're doing on Wednesday, the information will show up at the bottom of the week down here. Let's look at the second week here. Again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and then here's all the resources for that week it got plopped down there at the end. Now that's not something I can really control too much. That's just the way Moodle works. Now the kinds of things you'll see down here vary. Sometimes there'll be a forum that I'd like you to write something in that week. Well, it'll show up down here at the bottom. Sometimes there'll be um, an assignment drop box where I want you to upload an essay assignment. This is going to be um, perhaps a paper-free completely class. I'm not sure if we'll ever end up using paper or not. My grading and your submitting of things will be done online through Moodle. And again, that will always happen here. This is where you get your details for project one, for the rubric, for an other small assignments, etc. Um, I just don't want you to get confused if you see something like first day of class, introduction to Spotify playlist assignment. Wait, 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 what's that? How am I supposed to know what the assignment is? Well, then it says details below. When I say details below, I mean at the end of this week. Ah, if I click here, that's where I can finally get the details to that assignment. Great. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Notice also in Moodle, there's always these breadcrumbs. I can always, I'm in a specific wiki right now. If you don't know what a wiki is, don't worry, we'll talk about it. If I want to see all the wikis, I can go back one level to that. If I want to go back to our course, we can go back to that. And of course, if you want to go back to all your courses, you can go back to home. You know that, right? Easy stuff. Um, occasionally, I'll add links to things you'll need to know um, actually in the text here. So for instance, on Monday, August 27th, the day that we're in the computer lab over in STAR, one day a week on Mondays, we'll be in the lab. Um, and I tell you, OK, using Digo, do this. If you're confused about how to do that, I give you a link to Digo's awesome online help. So if you hover over things, I know in this video right now that the links don't show up very well. Hopefully they show up a little better at home, but sometimes you might just have to hover and find out. Or this video I made for a different class. So occasionally I'll give you links when you need them. This is the same thing, a, a link there. But whenever there's a document I want to give you, wherever there's something that you're going to have to upload, again, it's always going to be down here at the bottom. So for instance, on Wednesday you'll see quick introduction to rubric. If you're like, wait, rubric? What does that even mean? What is he talking about? See below. Again, see below, see right here. Is this making sense? I know I'm going really fast, but I mean, videos, you don't want them to be too long, right? This is already getting long. So let me show you really quick another way to get to some of that information. If you're ever like, he puts something at the end of one of those weeks and I have no idea where it is, you can always over here on the left click resources 
and it'll give you a quick, easy way to get to everything I've uploaded. Sometimes it's links, sometimes it's documents, sometimes um, it'll be other sorts of things as the semester goes on. Resources will always get you there. Um, again, if I ever put a forum at the end of one of these weeks and you're like, I can't find the forum he's talking about, click forums there. There aren't any currently there, so we're not going to bother. If you ever need to email me or the other people in the class, you can click compose, very easy. Whenever I add something in the announcements right here, it'll show up in this block for latest news. You'll see it show up. Whenever I add an assignment that you have to upload something that has a due date, it'll show up in upcoming events. Now, how do I say this right? Don't trust this too much. In other words, if you look at upcoming events and you're like, oh, there's nothing due. Great, I don't have anything to do. That is not the final word. The final word is always what's here. It'll always tell you what's due for a particular day. Hey, look, on the first day you don't have to do anything. Great, huh? Um, recent activity will show you the things that I've done, course updates, and then when you've done things like commented in a forum, things like that, it'll also have a, this is the stuff that you did. I don't know what phrasing it used. Um, so if you're ever like, I'm not sure if I did that, or um, uh, Dr. Steadman doesn't say that I did that, but I did, so I need to prove it to him, you can always show me where it says here, like, hey, you, you did this on this day. Um, Moodle keeps track of what you do when. Of course, you can also check on your grades throughout the semester. Um, and we'll talk about that as the semester goes on. That should be it. If you have any other questions, please always email me. If you're like, I don't even know your email address. What are you talking about? You can always click the syllabus. And there at the very, 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 very top, it tells you my email address. It tells me my office. It tells me exactly when I'll be in the office. By the way, office hours, that means the times that I am for sure in the office. If I'm gone, it's only because I went to the bathroom, and if I do that, I'll even leave a note on the door. It means I'm there sitting, waiting, hoping that you'll come by and tell me anything at all that is bothering you, or you have a question about, or that you're excited about. Awesome? Awesome. I'll see you in class. Bye.